Okay, the last simple example I'm going to show using GitHub Pages is if you want a little more control over um, what that landing page looks like, maybe you'd like to show figures in it, a nice floating uh, table of contents, um, you know, tables. Those are things that you can really easily do with our markdown. So now I'm going to walk you through how you could add that to a repository. And I'm going to go through all the steps. Okay, so uh, first off, this is the repository that I'm going to work with. I don't have this um, on my computer yet, so let's go ahead and get that in. So um, I'm going to go to GitHub Desktop, and uh, I'm going to go File, uh, Clone Repository. So let's see. Um, it knows all my organizations. So it just knows I didn't have to do anything. I'm going to scroll down. Okay. 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 There's a lot of them. Okay. Might have been faster just to copy the URL. Okay. Here we go. This is the one I want. So now I'm going to clone that. Super. Now I've got that in there. Okay. And there's the history of all the different things. So now I want to go over here and I'm going to um, new project. It's not a project yet. I've got the directory, but I haven't added it to our studio as a project yet. So always happening. Get up there. Week three. All right. Okay. So now it's created that this uh, .proj um, file, which is what it needs. Okay, so first step, what I want to do, create this folder, and I call it docs. That's what it needs to be. And now I go there. I'm going to do a new file. It needs to be our markdown. And it needs to be called index. Uh, it's going to give me, um, you know, some template stuff. I'm not going to use any of that. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Now I'll look over here. I've got, I wrote something here. So this is um, our markdown. We're going to learn about this uh, in week four. Um, it's got a title, it's got the kind of output I want. I'm going to have HTML. Um, you can put a theme on there. Table of contents, what the depth is, and yes, I want it to float to the side. So I need to save this as. Oh, this over here in docs. Need to save it as uh, index.rnd. Save it like that. There it is. And now I say knit. Shows up here. Um, I have my view set up to view here. I could do just click that and you can see what it looks like. And that's fairly ugly. So. Um, you know, I would want to edit this. I, I don't like this doubling up like that, so I would change that. Um, but it's got my nice floating uh, table of contents here. It's got some figures in there, so that's nice. So now I want to push those changes up. Okay, so I, I created that docs folder, and then I created this index, and I, by knitting it, I created the HTML. I don't want to push my rproj files up, so I'm going to click that. While I'm at it, I'll just add it to the .git ignore, so I don't have to keep unclicking that. Okay, so it's added it to .git ignore. All right, so that's great. So um, I'm just going to say add um, uh, ending page file in uh, docs. Commit that push that up. Okay, now I head back over here and we're going to reload this. 
So now we've got that docs. Now let's go over to settings. Go on down to the GitHub pages. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to change this instead of using root. So we now have this folder called docs, and that has that index.html file. We're going to click that, save that. And then, see how long it takes. Okay, it's going to take a moment to reload it. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we have this sort of landing page. If you've played around or looked around on landing pages on GitHubs, you're going to see something that looks kind of like this pretty uh, commonly. People um, do this all the time because they want to make a landing page that they've uh, developed using our markdown, and that allows them to um, incorporate our code to create you know, figures and stuff like that for their um, landing page.